Okay, so this is um, Sonata Square, and basically they got all this kind of music all the way in here, so we can kind of hear it. They got some new um, kiosk things here too, so maybe we'll come in and explore that a little bit. And we have our, our Christmas decorations because it's December 29. Still kind of happy new year stuff a little bit. And um, it's a post office over there. Lights are just coming down and we're going to stroll um, through here a little bit and just kind of show you, probably show you what's going on over there and also see what's in this little spot too. So, um, so stay tuned and we'll show you this little part of Macau. Okay, so welcome to Macau. 2023 and we're documenting the city of Macau so you can see exactly what it looks like in 2023. Let's check everything out. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is check out all of these things here. So this is a little dining area. I've got poinsettias there. Um, and sometimes we have live music at the stage right here. So we'll just kind of slowly do a 360 here real quick. Some beautiful colored buildings like that. And we're going to kind of stroll down this little alley right in here. And that's kind of the um, little eating area. And here you have something called Taste Macau. Let's see what this is. Macau Spirit. Let's see what else we got. Dog. So you got kind of like waffles, hot dogs, ice cream, juice, chocolate, hello, <laughs> cheese. Uh, so so we got uh, kind of like here's fortress. So we got kind of a little a little thing right here of all different foods right here, um, and that's our. Uh, so yeah, actually, I was also going to talk about a few other things too. So. Um, let's go check out this. what this one is too. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not wearing my mask, so I think people are looking funny at me because of that. So let's um, kind of check in over here. Let's see what this is. Should probably put on the mask, but... This line is all the way for this right here. So maybe we'll just kind of walk through it real quick. Hmm. Let's kind of keep on going through. I was also going to talk about that too. This is um. Let me see. Just kind of show you real quick. So that's our Largo do Sonado. And actually, I'm not wearing a mask. Um, I don't have COVID and I haven't had COVID. But everybody else here, we've hit peak COVID and they've kind of eradicated all the other stuff like... Um, I'm going to keep on walking through. But they eradicated um, the QR codes because so before we had to scan our code to get into any building. So that was for the last three years. Um, the masks were mandatory and required, sometimes strongly re required where they actually put people in jail, um, especially during a, a lockdown that we had. But, um, but anyways, right now it's peak COVID. So a lot of people have COVID right now. So a lot of stores are closed, but I um, have not had COVID, but I have been doing everything else right. So I've got four vaccinations. and strong immune system, I guess. I don't know. But, I've, but I haven't really been wearing a mask because for one, I want my body to be strong. I don't want to be weak wearing a mask 24 seven. And so we're gonna walk down this way a little bit. Uh, let's see what they're doing. I don't know if they're shouting. Oh, actually, I think right now there's a ton of mainland Chinese tourists that are coming in. So those are probably, um, Excited to be here, I guess. So we're gonna kind of come 
um, Sao Paulo ruins is kind of to the um, is up this way so we might walk it that way briefly lights are just coming coming down a little bit this is always kind of a cool spot because we have all these beautiful buildings like that everywhere I'm just gonna kind of highlight the spot briefly and then up here you got um, say cathedral and so a, a, church, a, a beautiful church is up there Portuguese bookstore is up there Portuguese consulate is up that way and then um, Sao Paulo ruins is the direction that we're walking towards So, okay. And as you can see, it's all kind of a pedestrian street. So it's, I think they're gonna create an, another pedestrian street um, towards a um, piers, which should they do will really transform the city. I mean, this is already such a cool street anyways. <laughs> but if you have a car and you're trying to get over here, it's not so cool, but if you're trying, but if you like walking, like, like I do. It's fantastic. So I don't know how far I'm going to go. Um, this will go all, all the way to South Paulo Ruins. Um, there's not the masses of people yet. I do want to highlight the mask because there will be a day when the mask could be gone. I'm going to be trying to document that a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna just kind of maybe end around this corner here. And up that way is Sao Paulo Ruins. Huh, maybe we'll take you out of the other way. We're almost there anyways. The lights are on. So Sao Paulo Ruins, this is basically the pedestrian street that goes, um, it actually takes a few streets, Sonata Square, all the way up to here. It's kind of cool. And we still got some Santa Clauses up there too, so I think pretty soon they'll be setting up for the uh, Chinese New Year, which is coming up next. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can see. That kind of goes up towards this fortress up there. And that's up all the ruins. There we go. So you kind of got to see this walk. You kind of get to see about people wearing masks, what it looks like on December 29, 2022. And I think in 2023, probably these masks could be gone. And the final remnants of everything would be over and this will probably be back to being super crowded which is what it used to be um before covid let's go up a little bit closer so that's the stuff the ruins right there so we'll just kind of go up a little bit closer. And you got some more cobblestone streets here, but this actually roads, cars can go on this road. Then they also come up this road too, as you can see with the taxi and the scooter. Then this one turned into Uniglo. So this is one giant Uniglo up here. And then that's up all the ruins, a big tourist attraction right there. There we go. So, okay. That's it. Okay, so welcome to Macau 2023, and we're documenting the city of Macau so you can see exactly what it looks like in 2023. Let's check everything out. <laughs> Oh, baby.